What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Chaos Draft. Before we get started, Matthew Elk Tears uh, like would like us to show the Rona the Rona stash that he's been growing in quarantine. <laughs> Just perfect. Just absolutely perfect. What a what a specimen. It's actually just beautiful. And then you got the I'm Bart Simpson, who the hell are you, with the actual old school Tracy Ullman art. That's uh, just just incredible. Also, we have Kerwit here. Also, who has not shaved or cut his hair since uh, the beginning of quarantine. So, that's that's pretty good. That's a thing. We've been in this queue for eight minutes now. Hopefully it'll fire uh, before too long. Whenever someone uses my my promo code and my link at manatraders.com, which is down below in the description and the promo code is RATTRAIN, I get an email and uh, about the uh, the kickback I get from like the referrals. And you guys get 20% off the first three months of any subscription at Manatraders, so definitely check that out. And uh, I just got like four emails which is pretty sweet it's always nice when like i see people using the service like everyone who's ever used mana traders loves it so the mustache is sadly gone i shaved it as an anniversary present <laughs> did dan's not like it because that's hilarious oh man that's good times i mean you know not for her until you shave that i guess all right, y'all. Welcome back. Our draft finally fired. Fall of the Titan seems insane, right? Feels like same as two two targets. I mean, it's just a fireball, right? And then like, I mean, Seed Guardian's also fine. Step Glider is fine. Blinding Drone is okay. I think we're just taking Fall of the Titans. <laughs> cast draft red is almost always a trap interesting i would probably go step glider over seed guardian just because i think white is probably better interesting got 19 seconds i don't know this card seems great i'm gonna take it i'm gonna give it a shot we'll see Oh, and we got a Pyrophobia. Deals three damage to a creature. Cowards can't block. Gorgasmix, I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for supporting me in my time of need, which is literally all the time on Twitch because this is how I live. Smiting Helix. Again, it would be black-white, but we'd be only splashing the white. I think Smiting Helix is probably just too good to take, even on the front end. Glider? What was Glider in that pack? I'm going to take Smiting Helix. Fire Main Angel? Okay, this seems real good. And maybe we live in a world where Boros Garrison comes back? Yeah, we're taking Fire Main for sure. Also, Matt wanted to... Oh, wow, this is great, dude. Matt wanted to show off some pictures in costumes. This is Matt. This is Dan's. Dan's is wearing a cami from Street Fighter costume. And Matt is like that big flower dress from Midsommar? Midsummer. Is that what... Is that correct? And then this one is also spectacular. <laughs> this is fantastic, dude. Oh, Marionette Master? Oh, wow. Are we are we white black again splashing for the red cards? Um Remember an artifact you can choose from the battle for the like the power. I mean, this could either be a four six. Is that good? 
Turn artifact or creature or both. Um, Pima Outrider is fantastic. There's no good white cards or red cards. I think we just take Marionette Master. Uh, skin Invasion. Chant a creature tax at each common. If I want to change your design, it's going to make it 3 4, sure. This is just a 4 1 with madness. Hmm. 2 2 has flying as long as there are four types. Unruly Mob could be decent. God, I really hope that, um. I really hope the Boros Garrison comes back. Fevered visions. <laughs> with those fevered visions. Oh, I think the unruly mob. I don't think that was great. Uh, I, I I meant the um, I I don't know, man. That pack was kind of meh. I don't know. Two one for two, exciting. Um, not great. Yoshin, 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 Shoulder. That's fucking hard to say, dude. A generic each creature control does one image to each creature in each player. This pack is pretty unimpressive. I think it's literally just two one for two. Not exciting, but. It Goes well with Marionette, Unruly Mob, whatever. <sighs> yeah. Oh, wow. Cleric spells cost two less to cast. That's not exciting. Okay. Uh, it's for Penal Combat Damage Soldier to non. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I fucking. Legions is the worst, dude. This is just such a bad pack. Do we have any clerics? Nah. God. Okay, I'll take this shitty card. Nat Miser. Each one's maximum hand is reduced by one. What am I looking at? Like white, red, maybe not not playing Marionette Master Splash in the back. Add a red for each card in your hand. Two, three for five. It's plus X for X is the number of cards in your hand. These are terrible. And this is a 5-5 five, five for 6, which is pretty fine. <laughs> Tap and untapped alley. The alley cards are so bad in this format because like you just don't have them. They just don't exist. Module 2. So it's a 2 2 for 3. Sack an artifact, search library for a construct, reveal it, put it in your hand. I mean, it's 2 2 for 3 that searches for constructs. So if we get any constructs, it's still not terrible. Prevent the one's next damage that would be dealt to order run command. That's actually pretty decent. I think we're just splashing the black, the smiting helix. And it's mostly because I don't want to be. Uh, <laughs> black white again. Oh, skin image came back. That's interesting. I don't know what this does. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile two sorcery cards from a single graveyard. 
whenever a player casts a card if it has the same name as one of the cards X that's terrible okay <laughs> supreme draft affiliate with the supreme skate clothing line uh you can probably tell by the the cast the the entry cost of the events right if they cost 100 to enter then probably Craw Giant. It's a time, look at this time spiral pack. When faces of our excellent other creature with shadow. Okay, that's hot trash. Errant Ephemeron. Oh boy. Is Errant Ephemeron just good enough to go into blue here? Oh, Strangling Soot's also real good. I think it's actually strangling, so... Yeah, we're going to take the soot. I have a feeling Molten Slag keeps going to come back. The problem, we can't splash Fire Man Angel because it's double white. I think it's stronger than Marionette Master, for obvious reasons. Ooh, Chainer's Edict. Tap and untap zombie, target land becomes a swamp. Tap and untap zombie, target creature gains swamp walk. That's f phenomenally bad. One damage to each creature and each player. Cabal Torture is great, really hard to deal with. We're looking closer to black here, guys. Although this guy could just literally murder some people. Yeah, you got four, three swamps? Take three, take four. Yeah, I think it's torture. Torture just, just crushes sometimes. Avatar Ghoul. Whenever a creature dealt damage by Avatar to Ghoul dies, you gain life. You that toughness. It's a 3-2 for 4 with first strike. Not terrible. Pitchburn Devils, also not terrible. Um, 3-2 first strike's hard to deal with. Pitchburn Devils, also pretty good. Looks like we're black-red here. I don't want the first unruly mob. Imagine that white guy with an herbal. <laughs> How many lands you got? Seven? Alright, take seven. Five five flyer for seven. It's probably the best we can ask for. Embalmed brawler, two, two for three. When it attacks or blocks, you lose one life for each. You lose we lose the life. Okay, well. Deal deals damage equal to number one. Counters not just target attack to block a creature. For each soldier we reveal. That's not gonna go well. That's a Minotaur Soldier. Okay, so we're just going to take the Havoc Demon, I guess. It's still a 5-5 five, five Flyer. I was watching old drafts and came across the moment you fell in love with That's interesting. Because I don't even think I know.
Verdant Succession. Remember, a green non-token creature dies. That creature, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't affect us. Zombie Infestation. 2-2 two, two for 2. <laughs> Mad Dog didn't attack. Kill it. Okay. 1-2 uh, for 3. I think we're just taking the Zombie Infestation. It got used against you and you were shocked and amazed. That's pretty funny. Dark Slick Shores? Nah. Uh, Moriok Replica is pretty decent. I mean, it's got to be better than the 3-2, right? Draw 2 and lose 2? Yeah, that's pretty fine. Orzhov Locket's interesting, because we might be able to... Hmm. I don't think so. It's double white. Not living that dream. Rubble Slinger is actually fine. Two, three, four, three. Sure. Return a creature from your graveyard or return an aura from your graveyard. You can choose both. Scavenging Harpy, and an exile card from an opponent's card. 2-1 Flyer? Yeah, I'll take a 2-1 Flyer. Oh, we do want that. We do want a White Splash for the Smiting Helix. Oh, Molten Slag Heap came back? Sure. Ord Run Commando also gets worse than that White, so... Pro black and gets plus one plus one for each black permanent or permanent troll. Like, okay. Man, cards are wild back then. Cabal Surgeon, I mean, it's two one for four, but exiling two cards from your graveyard to return a creature from your graveyard to your hand is not the worst. Yeah, see, a lot of these last picks are just miserable. Starstorm. Oh, boy. Trample, when it attacks, it gets plus three, plus O for each other attacking beast. Yeah, probably not that. Sack a creature. <laughs> Jesus. Two twos for one were terrible back then. Shock is real nice, but Starstorm is also just bananas. Yeah, we gotta take the Starstorm. Hopefully we'll get another Shock, because maybe there's another set with a Shock in it. Hmm... Mog Jailer can't attack a twin player controls not tap creatures with power two or less. <laughs> Choose a color of a permanent you control, add one mana of that color. Cool. Um this pack's pretty bad. It's probably just Horn Kavu. I mean, in case we manage to splash a green. Dude, I hate the way these are worded. Enchanted creature is plus three, plus three, unless it shares a color with the most common color among all permanents or a color tied for most common. What? <laughs> what did you say? It might just be Jailer, because it can still block. I'm not excited about it, but... 
Oh man. Cockatrice is nice. Three three flying flash death touch that becomes a six six. Spite of Mogus, target creature of the instant sorceries in your graveyard scry one. When this enters battlefield, there's two damage to your target, and the creature gets plus two plus two. I think this is actually fine. I think it's actually decent. So is Blade Tusk Boar. I mean, Freakish Chosen is also a good one with Snake. Boar one. I mean, I wish this was a little cheaper, but... I think it's just Blade Tusk Boar. It's better than Ord Run Commando in our deck for sure. 4-4 four, four Flyer. Dull White. Unfortunate. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, deals 1 damage to each opponent. This is actually a great 2-1 one for 1. Or Blur of Blades. Neg 1, Neg 1 counter on a creature. Or 2-2 two, two with Afflict. I don't even hate 3-4 for 5 with lifelink. This pack's actually pretty decent. And there are definitely several cards I want to take. Kenra Eternal's probably the pick. I think it's probably better than Firebrand Archer. Turret Dragon Swamp Walk, draw a card. That's not exciting. Oh, whenever could you control the power two or less attacks, raid deals one damage to a player or playing so It's just kind of meh. This is also pretty meh. This whole pack is meh. What up, Mirror Trump? I'm gonna take a little, I'm gonna take a lone missionary. What is what does this do? Whenever you cast a spell with colorless in its in its mana cost, rage extractor is going to that spells convert mana cost to any player. Oh, what up, Yale? Good seeing you, my dude. I can definitely see how it would be weird going from MTGO to Arena and back. Uh, oh, Phyrexian mana? Wow, that's really narrow. Mutagenic Growth might even be the pick. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, a Genic Creature Control Sacrifice is sitting in and you create a 1 1 mirror. And you have your upkeep. So they get another turn with it. Deals damage to you and number of artifact cards in your graveyard. That's terrible. I think it's just Parasitic Implant. I feel like these packs are drying up, unfortunately. I don't think our deck is as good. Let's die. Perilous Shadow. I mean... Eh. I mean, Niv-Magus is a, it's just a 1-2 for a red that can maybe get bigger. It's actually not terrible, I guess. This pack's got some juice in it. <sighs> Waning Worm. Detroiter's non-basic land, right? Yeah, that's not very good and limited. <laughs> uh, discard a card, target creature can't be blocked. No, I think it's just, I think it's either Brute Force or something in Spear Guide. That's interesting. I just pulled out a Sweet Wind and a Teamer Clover Mirror. I wish I would have recorded it. Yeah, well... Maybe if you were more of a content creator and less of a physical content creator. Nailed it. I think it's just brute force. Oh, the accursed center. Okay. It's just, it's a, sure, I'll just take this big fat idiot. Well played. Yeah, well. That's where they pay me the big bucks. Uh, this is a 4-2. Target creature gains Intimidate. I'll take Cruel Feeding. Oh, Blur of Blades came back. That's not terrible. Alright, well. We, just, we think we just play one. This is, like, this is 23 cards right here. It's not, it's not great. Boy, these Chaos Packs could have been less trash, it's true. Simeon Spirit Guide, if you're playing red, is definitely a better Lotus Bloom.
What does Grappler do? Provoke? It's a 1-1 one, one with Provoke. Cruel Feeding is plus 1, plus 0, and lifelink until end of turn. Is Zombie Infestation any good? It's probably not, right? It's probably just trash. I hope things are well over here. Ah, it seems like I run I was dealing with a miserable heat wave except here. Um, it's like 90 here, but like... I don't know, working from home and not having to go anywhere because of COVID, like, it's just like, well, I'll just stay in the air conditioning, I guess. I mean, you can still tell it's really hot, but, you know, AC, so. Kind of like a win, right? Oh, man. Even the Heat doesn't want to go to St. Louis. God damn. Kerwit, why are you leaving, bud? What's that about? We don't have any constructs, right? This is a artifact creature warrior. This is a mirror. Shut up and take my money. Great if we had a construct. One of the big bugs. <laughs> that is one big buck. It's true. Uh, yeah, this is fine. I think Zombie Infestation I'm not sold on, but discarding two cards is a little rough. I think I'd rather just have, like, literal 2-2. Two -two. Or, like, Cruel Feeding. Combat Trick seems fine. I mean, the thing is, like, the 2-2 two is nice because it can block their... S yeah, let's just play the 2-2. Two -two. So none of this, none of this, one of these, and Molten Slag Heap. So as soon as Slag Heap gets like two counters, you're netting a mana, right? Like that's the point where like you're like, oh, okay, cool. This has actually done something. What sets were the packs in the draft from? Um, I mean, I think literally it's everything in Magic Online. So as long as it's available in Magic Online, it is it is an option. So it's really hard to keep track of, like... Because in any given draft, there's going to be, about 24 packs, right? 8 times 3. Come on, red mana. This is nice because you can activate it more than once. Like... Does it get trample? That'd be bonkers if it got trample, right? Where's red mana? I asked for red mana. Did they give me strangling soot when I asked for red mana? Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, really? Guess we got the player who got the Chinese edict. You can come at me, bro? Okay. Okay. I mean, this guy just gets to nug this green seeker, right? Timely move out. Yeah, right? It's going to be out soon, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Someday I'll Chainer's Edict target you. Thank you. Oh, Spencer, what up, my dude? Thank you for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you. They coming at me? No. Fascinating. Creature with toughness three or less? That's not even an option. Whatever, I'm gonna do this now. Oh, they didn't do anything? Okay. I mean they should have definitely attacked then. Well, we have no mountains, guys. This is how it goes. This is how it goes down. Hmm. Be a man, you must be quick as a ranger. Mm. 
Mysterious as the dark side of the moon. Okay, add one. Exert, add two. Opponent has four mountains. God damn, that's brutal, man. Oh, man, magic is a... Toughness three or less, huh? Two, four. Two, four. Okay. Well... Which one is more important to kill? Probably this guy. This guy actually adds mana. Alright, well. Cabal Torture doing work. Doing the work. Just cast it twice. It'll do toughness six or less. That's how magic works. Like, two more lands means we can go Brute Force, Fall of the Titans for four. <laughs> Those big butts don't give a shit about my removal. God, you're right. You're right. It's my life's greatest uh, failure, I guess. Okay, eh, it's not terrible. Let's get in there for one. And then play five drop. So if we get a red, we can play the red. We'll have three cards in hand. Activating this guy twice gives plus three, plus O. Oh, uh, twice. So it's eight damage. This guy's really hard to block, too, because as a block, as a blocked creature, it's a three, four. So we don't have to pump it. We can just, like, knock that dude out. What are you saying, Gorgasmix? What's not worth it? What can I assume? Oh, they're just cycling their unearth. That's a good sign for us. They're digging. Never mind. <laughs> God, you're so aggressive. Ooh, that's interesting. Get in there. Do I just steal six? Maybe I just, maybe I just do the six. Six or... What? Ma. Huh. Um. Well, instead of pumping, I'm just going to let this resolve and see what happens. Yep, that's what I thought. Plus one for each basic land types. So it's going to be a seven, nine... That's wild. I think they might have us here. Was it six to flashback? And we're way away from that. We can pump it to seven and then eight for this. God damn, that's brutal, dude. That is brutal. Where's the second red when you need it? No, it's 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 plus five plus five because this guy says lands you control are every basic type. Oh god. So three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight. We can deal at eight. Uh wait, can we survive though? Four I guess we can survive at the very least. This puts him to seven. I mean, unless they have, like, something else. They waiting. Tick, tick. 
today, Junior? I didn't even notice it was you. I haven't seen much of your content, but I always loved your old stuff from TCG. Six, seven, and then we'll just give the old negarino. All right, well, live to fight another day, I guess. We traded a brute force for a Gaia's Might, so that's actually not terrible. Could have, could have, could have been worse. Could have been worse. Yeah, that's pretty good. These guys both have four toughness. So again, if we draw a red, oh wow, we can skin invasion. Actually, if we draw a red here, it's gonna be bananas. It's not, it's not red, it's unfortunate. Okay. If we draw a red, we can go skin skin invasion on this guy. Um, that would be the one spell. Surge for four. Killing both of these, getting at three four, but uh, the red mana she evades us. Pretty sure we just go parasitic implant on this guy. Let's attack first. Uh, I want to save the skin invasion to trigger fall. Cannot pump here, unfortunately. God, it's six damage, though. Yeah, I want to save Skin Invasion um, because Fall of, Thran Fall of the Titans as, as a Surge spell is significantly better than Fall of the Titans as a not Surge spell. You guys remember Surge? So we take what six? I mean, we're doing kind of rough here. I guess that guy gets eaten. That seems decent. Oh, now you want to show up? Okay. And we can also just attack with both of these guys. Or just, just this guy, I meant. And then pump twice for eight? Huh. We have a lot of options here. What is Surge? I drink everyone asks if people remember as though it wasn't a massive hit when it existed. Yeah, yeah it's like Ecto Cooler. Dude, remember Ecto Cooler? Yes, we all remember Ecto Cooler. God! You don't have to ask if we remember Ecto Cooler. I'm just going to take for two. I don't know what they have, and I really want to just put some more nonsense on the board, I think. I'm just going to Marionette Master as a lot of small, tiny guys. Yeah, I mean, like, they have, yeah, they have a ton of cards, and they have a ton of mana of all colors. So it's like, what are you working with over here? They got, like, a Languish? I'm fearing a board wipe. Here we go. Black Sun Zenith for four. Oh, okay, just a three five. A little shit shitter. Shit shitter. Okay, another land here would be great. Skin invasion, fall of titans, blow them up. That didn't get to happen. These big butts don't care about. I once purchased every kind of surge available for a Halloween party when we made ten. <laughs> Gallons of punch that was surge plus absinthe plus tequila. Tequila, I said. Tequila. Tequila. Oh, so you invented four loco. Yeah. Is... Burger King does not sell surge. Get out of here with your lies. I mean, we can still kill both of these guys, right? Skin. One. One, two, three, four. Pop, pop. 
And then, like, our attacks are very, very good, and this guy basically just dies to anything. Alternatively... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see what this does. Interesting. Okay, that guy automatically buffs. I guess we're pumping, right? Plus O, plus X, plus O? Sure, I'll give you some life. What does it say? Exile target card from opponent's graveyard. Sure, let's see what you got. Anything that you can... Oh, let's get rid of that Chainer's Edict. That's a spicy meatball. Oh my god, Disco Biscuits, for sure tweet me a pic. That'd be in... That seems insane. Is your Burger King trapped in time? Whenever an artifact enters battlefield under control, you pay one. If you do, each opponent then you get to drain. Sacrifice this, destroy an artifact or a creature if you control two or more artifacts. So this is basically just an enchantment that's going to drain. Can you fax your order to that? <laughs> See, that's funny. They did bring it back recently? That's interesting. I think I kind of need that. I feel like it's one of those things I knew but I didn't pay attention to. I miss Jolt. Surge, Jolt, Shock, Zap. All delicious beverages. Sure, very free hands. You're probably just going to get back thundering. Tan Tanadon? Tanadon? I mean, we're just going to kill it now, though, because you're obviously going to block with it, and that seems worse, so. Do we just win here? I think we're just going to win. I'm feeling winny. Like, Fall of the Titans, Skin Invasion Fall is like 4-4, four, four, you go to 9, and then you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's lethal if you don't have, like, some kind of weirdo trick. Yeah, that's probably better. Bruh. Cast with Surge. I'm going to keep one up because we A, we don't need it. And B, if they have like stupid sensor or something. All right, cool. What was Pepsi Twist? Is that like Pepsi with lemon? That would be my guess. What did they have? A bunch of... A bunch of big butts, man. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You are the brothers can't deny. Whenever a green non-token creature dies, that creature can be search library for a card with the same name. Oh, that's fucking terrible. That's just atrocious. <laughs> oh, destroy an enchantment. I'll play that. Um, how are we looking on? Sort by color. Okay, pretty pretty split evenly. I guess we have <sighs> these are both red too, so. I'll take out one swamp for one more planes. Yale, yeah, two questions. Did you just call Ashley your girlfriend? And does she live in Canada now? Mm, 
seems fine. We can pull up that slag heap. That's what you want to do. Kenna still has these crystal. I was just making fun of the I have a girl. <laughs> you wouldn't know her. She goes to a different school. Okay, see, that was subtle, but I appreciate it a lot. Oh, yeah, what's her name? You, you don't, you wouldn't know her. She doesn't go to this school. This goes into the hand, right? Yeah, okay. Exile a creature, return that creature to the battlefield. Was, yeah, sure, that's fine, too. <laughs> My wife is actually Canadian. We met online. I also met your wife online. Along with you. Did they discard... They just discarded Forest for Island. Yeah, that seems fine. That's just a filter. Hey, what's the Yale in your name mean? Uh, it means his first name. So, we got that going for him. Intimidate seems... Oh, shit. I just knocked a I just knocked a drill over. My last name is Yale. Oh shit. Double Yales. Dueling Yales in the chat, guys. If you got married, you could be Yale Yale. <laughs> That's true. I mean I think it's worth it just for the memes alone, you know. Well, you got me. <laughs> I'll file the divorce papers now. I appreciate your uh, your haste with the with this issue. I appreciate your understanding with how the the, the quality of the meme is is of utmost importance. God, they're gonna run out of lands in their deck. Well, to be fair, Yale is not Canadian. He's American. Only only his wife is Canadian. But she might be rubbing off on him. Yale is actually quite salty sometimes. Yale gets real frustrated. I've seen Yale get real irritated before. At one New York City Comic Con, I met this super cute girl, and I kept thinking she was trying to figure out my name, but it turns out her name was Yale. Oh! That's actually pretty hilarious. <laughs> Uh, I guess we're just playing Blade Tusky Boar again. Yeah, how's work going with uh with COVID? I feel like since most of your stuff is from home outside of cons, like it looks like you've been doing pretty reasonably. I'm made of salt. It's true. Uh, all right. Boy, they're really like they're really bouncing. They're really bouncing this. Oh, actually, this is nice because Molten Slag Keep lets you cast Pathfinder. Let's play Harpy here. Get rid of Trainer's Edict because that's just a good deal. <laughs> oh boy. It's going okay. It's just tough to get motivated. A lot going on. Hard to find. I, I, I have actually known that feeling as well. It's really, it's really obnoxious because I'm like, like I, I know I have to stream. I know I have to write articles. I know I have to make a podcast. I, like I just make, I have to make content. Like that's my job, right? That's how I support myself. But there's days I'm like, I just don't feel like streaming. I don't feel like making videos, whatever, you know, and it's really frustrating. And I think a lot of it is like emotional exhaustion where you're just like, I'm just exhausted. Like I'm exhausted. I'm tired of worrying about things. I'm tired of like, like politics, the presidential election, COVID, 
with weather, with climate change, like it's all exhausting and draining. And I'm just like, who cares if I stream today? That's interesting. What do they have? Oh, they have Thundering Tanadon. How did that go? Oh, they discarded it. That's interesting. I care. Mark, I appreciate you, buddy. Let's play Blade Test War again. I care if you stream today or any day. You guys are great. With streaming, at least you have an immediate fan response. I'm sitting here busting for weeks and without and sure. That's true. But also for you, it's nice because like you get commissions up front and people are like, hey, I'd like to purchase this. I'd like for you to do this art for me and I'd like to purchase it. Also, yeah, I've definitely been tempted to ask you if you wanted to write a comic with me. But I know you have a lot on your plate and I also know that the artist does way more work than the author or the writer on a, on a book. So it's like, I, I kind of avoid it. I'm like, I don't want to put that, I don't want to like be like hey man would you like to do a bunch of work yeah it's like it's like you want to like commissions pay the bills but like it's not like what you want to do it's not like the Well, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So next turn you can, if you if you hit a land. Turn my lurk, I've had a 75% win with my just got Josh, what I don't even know what you're what you're paying me to play it for. Okay, so you can if you, it's just three threes. Three, three, threes. This card is unbeatable, right? I don't know how I beat that. Hmm, boy. That's a card, all right, boys. Is Mike B still around? No, Mike Mike B went to the went to sleepy time. Whatever, I'll just put this on here. Shut up and take my money. Oh, one care book. I care about you dot gif. It's kind of like if you were all about being a pro, but had to spend all your time streaming and playing donate decks and stuff. You yeah, that's I, I feel like that's that's a good equation actually. Where like if I sit there playing brews, like I'm not testing any specific deck for the pro tour, or, you know, whatever, and uh, you know the quality of the work you want to be doing suffers for the quality of the work you have to be doing. Oh dear Jesus, this card. I'm paying you for exposure more than anything. Okay, okay. Well, I accept. I'm just gonna make a red here. I feel like this is probably gonna kill us. No, right, like, I'm, I'm super grateful that I have the opportunities to do what I do. Like, the, like I think you and I both know that, like, our jobs are um, maybe not easier, but more enjoyable than, like, going to work 9 to 5. Like, if I had to get out of my, get out of bed at, like, 7 a.m., drive 40 minutes to work, work in an office for 8 hours, drive 40 minutes home, like, I don't want to do that. And I think I'm, I'm pretty grateful for the fact that I don't have to do that. I did see that Dark Phoenix and it actually looked great. I was actually really impressed by, um, like, the colors looked fantastic, actually. That thing popped. Okay, guess we'll take, uh, take a lot here. It's rough down on them sandwich mines. Right, like, I agree. Like, I think everyone who has, like, the, the 9 to 5 typical 8 hour job is... I, I did it for a long time, right? Like, I did it for a long time. And I never enjoyed it. Never had a good time was never fun for me. 
I feel like there's no real winning here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I think an iPad's probably great for you. Um, also, if you haven't looked into it, look for a screen cover called, I think it's called like paper like yeah it's apparently it makes it feel like paper and um tons of people swear by it and so like if you're using like the apple pencil which i assume you are um you know it gives you just a better experience in terms of like writing etc Five, six, seven, eight, we block here. This guy just, I can't deal with, I can't beat this. I can't beat this seven mana idiot. That's wild. They can also blink their own seven, seven and uh, like reset the, um, the monstrous. I was actually considering playing this and then I realized it was player or planeswalker. And I'm just like, well, that's trash. Is this guy playable? 4-4 four, for four, 7. For each other attacking beast. This guy's a beast, right? That's a boar. Why is it a boar? I don't think we have any other beasts. Gremlin, ogre, I, ogre shaman. <laughs> ogre samurai shaman. Okay. Well. I do think our deck is better. Do I, just want, do I care about demystify? Probably not. That was stuck in our hand for a little bit. Oh, we kept one in, didn't we? And we took out this for... So we have one more red? Mm, no. Take that, yeah. Gonna be a boar for boar trial. It's fair. That is fair. I will play first. Um, I mean, mono four drops, but we'll keep it. This is round one. Good God, this game is taking forever. I have program work from home, eight years strong. It's pretty isolating though, but co dude, I'm, that's it. It's the combination of like me not wanting to do that nine to five grind, but also being extremely isolated for the past 10 years. Like there's definitely times where I'm like, oh, all my, all my coworkers are going out for dinner. I don't have that. Like there's days, there were there before me and Katie lived together. Like there were days where like, I just didn't see people <laughs> like I would go days without like seeing people seeing other human beings give me a three drop give me that two three with reach that's a five drop I appreciate it though uh, so we're gonna play ghoul into this guy Guess we'll take it. Pro black. Oh boy, that seems fun. Well, they're not close to threshold, thankfully. I'm gonna play ghoul because I think it's just a better play than than terror. Uh, and next turn we can play this guy to block this guy pretty easily. <sighs> I 
I've been fully remote for a bit over two years at this point. I also agree that it feels really different with COVID. Uh, no blocks. Interesting. Here in my car. And now they were to live in cars. I'm going to give them another turn with the Dryad, even though it really fixes their mana. The problem is they get another turn anyway, so... Me, like, killing that guy doesn't really stop anything. Okay, I like it. Wow, my, my kingdom for a cheap spell. This would cost, we can deal two damage to two things. Oh, it's an instant though. That's actually pretty good. Oh, they got pro black. So let's just attack with Bushido boy. Dude, I've had Gary Newman stuck in my head all night. It's been wild. Oh, we're double blocking. Huh. This is fascinating. I mean, I think we just pump here and let the chips fall where they may. Seven, that's a seven four, good buddy. Gonna be popping Vice City. Oh, dude, I love Vice City. Is by far my favorite GTA game. Not even close. I absolutely love it. I wish they would remake it. <laughs> I feel like it's just this guy. This is a 3 1 trample? Sure. I don't care about that thing. <clears throat> I feel like the graphics would be outdated, and I have a real problem with like outdated graphics. It, like drives me nuts for some reason. It's just something real hard for me to shake and be like, yeah, this is playable. Like I tried to play Half Life 1 again just because I think the story was decent. But I just couldn't get into it. I was like, oh, this is just impossible to watch. I mean, we could actually go deal two to both of these guys. I'm probably pretty sure that's going to like one, two, three, four, five. I mean, they take eight and both their dudes die if they don't have a trick. They did not have a trick. Oh, the Vice City original soundtrack box set for like 20 bucks would be insane because that's probably got like 80 songs on it, dude. What does this do? Uh, search library for two basic lands, for one in your hand, another graveyard. So they search for forest swamp, took the swamp. Sure. Uh, in this situation, probably. If they're gonna put them to seven, it's probably it's probably terror, I guess. The two extra power is not irrelevant here.
but they are way far from casting it again, so that's nice. One, two, three, four. Play boar. It's almost the full try. That's for intro station. I was bummed that's not complete, but I, well, that's oh yeah. There's probably licensing issues. Where they're like, we just can't afford this song. So I also wondered if you stream the Vice City games, like if you get demonetized. God, three again and a four butt gig, four butt guy. I mean, otherwise we just win right here, right? Mog Jailer. Um, do they even have the luxury of not blocking here? Yes, they do. They have to block. So I'm actually going to attack. Yeah, this is fine. I don't even know what Salivex and Giggle. I don't even know what these things are. <sighs> Jesus. Oh my god, that's fantastic that you remember that. That's hilarious. Okay. They got that. They can blink a dude. I really figured I'd be done by two, but good grief. Oh my god, they have the ads on the friggin' box set? That's fantastic. That's golden. Yeah, my friend John, Beer Man Man, in chat, uh, works at Rockstar. So I'm always like, hey man, what are you guys working on? He never tells me. For good reason. But I always try to be like, can you guys remaster Ellie Noir? That'd be cool. I'd appreciate that. They have two colorless lands? Yeah, you gotta blink this guy. And then you can't activate either of these, which is super nice for us. Go to two. Both my duders are lethal. We also have a smiting helix that's lethal. I haven't played the Final Fantasy VII Remastered, actually. I heard very good things about it, though. Oh, we win the game. That's how you... Oh, they showed me their hand. Forbidden, Arant, Ephemeron, Anot... I think they're just too greedy. Like, you can't have this many colorless lands when you have, like... When you have a three-color deck, man. <laughs> it's just like NDAs or... Yeah, that's what John says, too. I'm like, hey, man. What are you guys working on? He's like, I don't know. And I was like, dang it, man. Biscuits. But last year, I think it was the year before last year, actually, at BlizzCon, he gave me a copy of Red Dead Redemption. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. I appreciate you. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. I think Fall of the Titans is real, real good. Plus, we got manas and spells. I still have to play through Red Dead Redemption. I played like three hours of it. Mike and I were going to stream it, but like. It's a long one. <laughs> um, I'm just going to play this as a dude. I could keep it to trigger Fall of the Titans, which is a pretty decent uh, plan, I guess. Uh, it becomes a 3-3. Three, three. I have my doubts you're going to play a spell that's both blue and red. Those do not seem super common. And I'll block your 2-1 with my 1-2. In comics, we don't give a shit. We pass around pages and stuff constantly. That was pretty hilarious. 
I feel like a lot, a lot of times they'll like like one page is not going to be super convincing. Wow, we both we're both playing Mountain Mountain Swamp with a blue red card on the board. That's kind of weird, actually. I think this guy's dead. No, they're just gonna island cycle. Oh, we got a Grixis. Is it is 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 is, is blister coil weird? What are you saying right now? Brady, what are you saying? This is New Megas Elemental. Similar, but I feel like you would have wanted to bounce this guy. This guy bouncing this guy seems real good for us. I get to keep my three two. Well, it is a we it's an elemental. It's not a weird, but weirds are elementals, correct? Unless I'm crazy. Yes, yeah, that's also true. Most pages are un unlettered, so you're just like, here's a bunch of panels. <laughs> Try to figure out what's going on. Excuse <laughs> me. Oh, I'm just gonna keep bouncing my things, I guess. kind of like keeping this guy for the fall sure jolt is so good jolt jolt is so good <laughs> i was making a joke and the typo was my downfall um oh it can't be blocked oh my god i was like this is gonna be so good it was not though. So we can play Mog Jailer and then deal four to both of these dudes. I guess we can attack first, see what happens. Is this? I'm just gonna do 14 here. Sure. I mean, that seems fine, especially with a fall. Yeah, dude, I'm super glad we got to chat, man. Really glad you popped in, buddy. Deals two damage to him. Sure. We take a. We're gonna 11. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, wow, that's fucking exactly lethal. Now we go to one. Okay, well. So one, two, three, four. All right, if you don't have a burn spell, I feel okay. But you have four cards. It's a limited format, three cards, a limited format. Okay, that is a thing that will kill us. Seems good. <sighs> yep, that'll do, buddy. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. That's really unfortunate. That wouldn't have done it, actually. Wow, we should have just killed those guys when we had the chance.
play first. Let's keep this hand. Is Harvard going to step in next? Do you know him too? I do not know a Harvard steward, unfortunately. I do know a Cornell. No, I don't. I'm just kidding. I should try to make friends with all Ivy League names. Oh, it's my friend Princeton. Princeton! I, mean, I guess we could just play Jailer, but I'd rather just play the board next turn and put another counter on this. I don't think the 2 2 is really going <laughs> to. Oh, man. Graduated from Cornell. Ever heard of it? Come on, land. Thanks for nothing. Oh, okay. We'd be storing. I'm just gonna pass here again. Like, they just bounced my guys like five times in the first game, so... Just bounce this guy. Kapow. Sure. Seems good. Well, this guy does not die to your cunning, cunning trickery. There's a red mana. There's a red mana right when you need it. Strangling soup. Don't really want to play this when we know the card in their hand. I'm just play 2 2 here. Unexciting, but. We get to put a counter on the slag heap, so. Isn't in the end the best snowball isn't a snowball at all. It's fear. Are you excited about Christmas, little girl? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. 79, 12, 13, 14. I mean, 6 is just too much damage to deal here to not... to not deal it, basically. Ugh. 
could have dealt an extra six, put them to six. I hope we play another stupid creature and I hope we hit a land first. Actually, we don't need a land, right? We can Star Storm here. about counterspell I'm gonna play Blur and Blade Tusk Boar. Maybe that wasn't terrible. Swamp Cycling, eh? Only four cards left, guys. It's a Draxus Spectre. Okay. Oh, mark of the 200 bits. 100 Brazilian bits of care. What about the other bits? That's 200 bits. So we want to go two each with this. We can actually just go three, four. We can play a three drop here. We can play Harpy, exile a card, kill both of these guys. Excel Spectre. That seems real good. I mean, our hand is good. So it's a 2 3. Sure. Mark, I appreciate you, buddy. I actually kind of like sit here a little bit better because we're not using all of our mana. In before they just play a 5-5 five, five haste and kill us. Okay, that's okay. Oh, they just took it. Fantastic. Yeah, I don't want to die to like plus three, plus three or some bullshit. 
Uh, I'm streaming in Mountain Daylight Time. That's pretty good. Come on, white mana. Skin invasion. Interesting. I mean, this guy becomes a six. We can actually just block this guy. It's gotta be boar here, right? Like if they don't have an answer, boar kills them. Yeah, of course they have an answer. <laughs> oh boy. Never fails. Yep, and this is of course eight, so we have to block. Come on, white man off the friggin' top one time. Seven mana. We have six. Well, on the bright side, we're not dead yet. Avatar Ghoul with the skin invasion on it. Skin invasion? Skin invasion. Skin invasion, if you will. <sighs> yep, lethal three four now. Ridiculous. All right. Well, we tried. And then our opponent had Bane of Balagid. So that was cool. Do I want a second white? I don't think so, but geez. I mean, that sure would have been decent that game if we just hit a white source, but. What can you do when you're not meant to. When you're not meant to trophy and. Chaos Draft. Boy, this is taking a little bit. All right. All right, after like three minutes, the queue finally filled. 
been taking forever with my games in double masters as well yeah i feel like it's just the the draft formats now are not super exciting people are mostly attracted to new draft formats and also uh cube formats those are the two formats that like attract people the most like you can throw chaos drafts and uh and and like double masters up but it's not gonna be super compelling to a lot of people did you know that if you play brute force on niv magus and you exile instead it just gets permanent plus two plus two rather than a temporary plus three plus three and that's good value Now we're talking, getting them two drops down, boy. Sacrifice a return up to one artifact and up to one enchantment from your graveyard. To your little handy. Again, red is our bottleneck, unfortunately. Get in there. Beat their face. I'll, just, I'll make that trade all day. Okay, so we are going to do this. Got him. Man, that's a that's a three four, bro. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to exile that thing. I don't feel like they can win combat here. Okay, except take your point. Uh, take your point. Did we just not play land that turn? I'm pretty sure we did, which is pretty rough when we have Marionette Master and Star Storm in hand. I mean, they can double block here, and I guess that's fine. I oh, just taking three. I like it. Boar seems like a solid boy. Sometimes you do gotta skip a land drop to keep your opponent on your toes. Buddy, you ain't kidding. What does that do? Prevent the next one damage that be dealt to each creature you control. That's hot trash. Hot trash burning down. We just alpha here? I don't think they have great blocks if we alpha. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. They could crack this guy? Sure. Hot trash in the city. Yeah, so this is this is they're gonna eat this guy, and then this guy's just gonna get eaten. Yeah, that's fine. Abattoir ghoul. I just got done with your cat trivial trivial. 
YouTube video and you're alive at this hour. I missed that. Is Pot? How how dare you? How dare you? I'll keep this hand. Two X the X damage spells and a six mana card. I think this definitely matched up for the spell we were healing. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have boarded it in. Your fucking name is Rat Gina. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. It could be Rat Gina, I guess, but I don't think so, man. blocks because Solid Pride Mage is a solid gentleman. I like it. Forgive me if it helps. I left uncontrollably. Your dog's having terrible farts. Oh my god, dude. Wally had such bad farts. It was. He's been a little sick the past day or so. He's feeling a little better though. He just had a bunch of fucking rancid farts. They were so bad, dude. Hot sun beating down. Uh, no blocks. You're just gonna make this guy a seven seven? Come on. Um you know what? Sure. Sometimes I feel like I'm not centered enough. I gotta center my chi. I mean, if they want to sack it to get rid of the implant, the yeah, the implant, then it's, it's fine too. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Chorwit. Kerwit is asleep and I'm donating. Who is Chorwit? <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, they're just gonna. Oh, I just could eat that guy. That's kind of cool. Hmm. 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 Well a lot of resources we're going to use but that's okay because they're trying to keep on the pressure oh, I can't attack with that guy <laughs> swim in the filth ready for those chickens I don't even know what that clip is to be honest with you hilarious what does this thing do Oh, just sure. Oh, that's that's pretty good. Um, you can't attack, right? Because they got a stupid thing.
Don't forget to check out manatraders.com, guys. Amazing subscription service for Magic Online. You can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. Oh, God. I mean, I guess if we brute forced, it wouldn't have actually done anything. Because... Because it would have been a five four, and they still would have traded. Mm -hmm. But they would have traded, so you know that is that is something. We can also deal three to everything, but. If we had one more red, we'd probably win. We can go brute force something. I mean, right now they just go block, block. Yeah, pretty sure we're just passing. I think Marionette Master in hand along with brute. I think our hand is definitely capable of winning this game, but we just have to actually do it. That we dealt to in any target. Okay. Okay. Oh, good old abattoir ghoul. Whenever a land, you may have target creature block it. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 well, that is fascinating. Happy Ghoul's Day. What does that mean? I don't know. So we're, they're going to do this. First strike's going to kick in. They're going to remove this. We're going to pump. Going to gain a bunch. Such beats. That's a two for one as far as I'm concerned. I mean, as far as anyone's concerned, really, because we, we traded one card for two cards. So that's literally how two for ones work. Well, they're at five. Block here, block here, take three. Eh. I mean, I'm fine with either one of these trading and this guy eating something, so. Interesting. Um. So it's going to be a five. I think we're just doing this for one. <laughs> I mean, they lose Nettle Sentinel, this, and this. We lose this and a stupid idiot, so. Actually, hold on. How's that? This is going to be a five. We're going to deal with two, so we have to do it for two instead. But we get to keep this instead, which might be better. Did they kick this? 
Yes, right? Because it says kicked on it. I think it's actually better to do it for two. Is keeping this guy better than keeping both of these idiots? I think so. I don't think it's a blowout if we X minus one. We just They lose one guy and then we lose... Like... I mean, I'd rather I'd rather do X for two. And cast. Right, so in one situation I'm trading Sling and Mirror, in the other I'm trading Jailer and Mirror. I'd rather trade Jailer and Mirror and do it for two. Oh, we're losing the freaking ghoul, though. Yep, we did forget that. That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's not ideal. I guess we're just going to hold it, then. <laughs> See, if we do it now, like we still lose the ghoul, which is pretty rough. I think we're just going to hold it and play Marionette Master. <laughs> like, that just seems better at this point. No, I'm not going to trade three for, for the stupid 2-1. Like, I don't care about that. I mean, they're at five. I'd rather get guys on the board. Oh, they conceded. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at twitch.tv slash franklapoormanatraders.com. Cool stuff Inc. every Wednesday and patreon.com slash franklapore and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for the support.